Hello, I'm Richard with EV for You Custom Conversions. And in this video, we're going to talk about our uh, component packages. Now, we're known for our educational videos and our three day hands on conversion workshops, our consulting service, all the things that we do that are related to the educational aspect, where we teach you how to convert a gasoline vehicle or internal combustion vehicle to electric. That's our main focus and has been for 10 years. But we also, in our uh, desire to aid you in doing your own conversion, uh, we also offer components and we're a dealer for most of the major component manufacturers. But in this video I want to show you an example of a, a package. Now, we don't call it a kit because in my mind a kit is something that is all-inclusive. Everything you need uh, you know to do it. If you buy a kit to uh, uh, build a TV you know you don't have to go source some of the parts uh, after the fact. It should be everything you need to build that TV. And so we only offer one complete kit and that's for the classic VW Beetle. Everything else are packages and the packages are custom designed around your conversion. And so we will help you uh, come up with that package and then we can source that package for you. And so that's what I'm going to show you an example of today is a package that um, has almost everything you would need uh, to do a complete conversion. Uh, and we'll kind of go over that so you'll see what it entails, uh, what it includes, and what it doesn't. First off, we'll, we'll talk about uh, a main component. Right here, it's on the pallet, boxed, ready to go. And it's actually two boxes right here. It looks like one, but this is a, a motor, and this is the controller in this case. This is the High Performance Electric Vehicle Systems AC51 and the Curtis 1239 controller. In this box, we have a heater. Now, most of the cases when you buy these, uh, it's lacking a few uh, components. And a couple of things that it's lacking is it has a three-speed uh, fan selection, but they omit the diodes necessary to make that work. We include them. Also when you buy it, you don't get the contactor that you need. We include it. This is about a $115 part that's omitted in everybody else's package for these. We include it. So this is a nice uh, little heater, like I said, three-speed fan set up. This is the adapter coupler, heater, this is the charger, and we'll open up this, and this has all the other components that are going with this package. The bottom box, which you can't see right at the moment, is just nothing but battery cells. This has uh, some battery cells as well as the rest of the components. So we'll move closer so we can get a better look. Okay, so what comes in here is uh, a package that has uh, all the uh, uh, documentation for the different components as well as all the schematics so that this could be put together. And again, that's designed specifically for this setup. So here's the uh, rest of the cells. That uh, This is a 48 cell package. So here's the remaining 12. There's 36 in the box below this box. What we have in here, this is uh, bubble wrapped here, but this is the power steering. 
unit. This is the DC to DC converter. This is the, uh, the charge port. All the high voltage cabling. High voltage lugs of varying sizes based on the, the project. Here's all the battery, uh, Nordlock washers, your bolts. Braided interconnects, fuses with uh, fuse mount, two of those. This is uh, the radiator for the controller cooling. Electronic throttle. Uh, your service disconnect. The pump for the cooling system. An inertia switch. Uh, fittings for the uh, radiator uh, this is a, a vacuum reservoir for the power brakes a light a little green light to let you know that your system is on be installed anywhere you'd like uh, one of several relays this is an AVC2 which is designed to work in conjunction with the J1772 charge port. This is uh, oh, the coolant reservoir for the controller cooling system. Here's a uh, um, Fuse block for all your 12 volt circuits. This is for your high voltage cabling. This is all the heat shrink, color coded, shunt, JLD 404, intelligent amp hour meter, <clears throat> fans for the uh, radiator. 12 volt gauge. We like to monitor not only our traction pack but our 12 volt auxiliary system. That lets us know that our battery's working right and our DC to DC converter. Uh, circuit breaker for the power steering. Another relay. Uh, sandwiched in here so it doesn't get damaged. This is the chill plate for the uh, controller and in the bottom here <clears throat> it's not really anywhere near this size <laughs> it's just way over packaged but this is the vacuum brake system all the related components that go with that so you see it it's includes almost everything you would need less your 12 volt wiring, your 12 volt connections, you know, terminals, um, and some of that, your 12 volt fuses, uh, all the stuff that you could easily source at your local um, Craig and Napa, you know, auto parts store, whatever is nearby. So the things that you can't easily source um, and even some that you can um, are included and so we try to make this as simple as possible by having all the components you need with all the instructions for the individual components uh, diagrams of how the cooling system goes together and works 
uh, all the schematic diagrams for all the uh, you know individual sub uh, components as well as the master uh, schematic showing how it's all completely wired together. So if you need more than just advice, give us a holler. We're always glad to help in any way that we can. Like I said, if that's uh, information or components, we're here to help. So as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next informative video uh, when we uh, continue with our 280Z project. Up next is the uh, motor mount. So hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.